everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can, and together we can game. In the last episode of Can Play Ukulele, we got our first tome. We also got two upgrade abilities from Trouser. In this episode, we are going to go into the first tome, so I guess why don't we go ahead and jump right into it. I'm actually really excited to see how this works. I like the tome mechanic, and I like how that's going to replace kind of portals. Pay attention, some moves and abilities will drain your power bar. I also love the little loading screen as ukulele rolling. Tribal Stack Tropics. And it's really cool that the uh, tome itself stays open. So we are in Tribal Stack Tropics. We have 200 quills per level as we learned. Gonna go ahead and use our new ability there. And here we are, our first world. Well. To be fair, we have the overworld, but this is our first real exploration-heavy world, and I'm so excited to explore. I don't know about you, but anytime I play a new 3D platformer or collectathon like this, it gives me that sense of childlike wonder that I just love having. So there's some quills over here, as well as, I don't know what those... There's a couple of flowers I'm noticing. But I don't know what they necessarily do, I'm sure they'll come into play later. I do love the spin mechanic. Gonna go ahead and collect all quills I see. And it seems like, you know, the first tome is gonna be kind of a standard level. And what I mean by that is just grassy plains. And you're an interesting... What? What are you... Can I talk to you? Not sure what you do. Okay. That's, um... You burp at me, that's for sure. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Alright, continuing to uh, explore though, I see some more quills over here. Usually quills are put in the direction of places you want to check out or explore. So while that's a thing, I want to go ahead and see what all I can do. What is this? What is... Can I attack you? Not sure what that thing is. Ooh! Achievement unlocked! Book spook! Ghost Riders are the book made of all five and a treasure will trade. Oh god, we have Ghost Riders. Capturing one ghoul, impressive, indeed. But to free us all, new tactics you'll need. Oh, they're gonna rhyme. I love this scheme. Oh, yes, that's actually really cool. Got an achievement, got new tactics, all in all really excited. It's just, it's coming on strong. Gosh, I seem to have gotten myself into a pot of bother. Oi, no need for name, Colin. <laughs> I love the interactions between the characters. I need to stop using that. I do have a limit on that. However, there is a butterfly there, which will uh, bring back some. So I do like the fact that butterflies seem to be pretty plentiful. So that's going to be useful for what we want to do. Uh, yeah, definitely. Never mind. I think I'm fine using that to quickly get around, at least for now. It looks like you found enough quills for my first move. Snap by my office for a fantastic offer. See? See if I can talk to you again. He's looking a bit malnourished. Cripes! Thank goodness you're here! I've been kidnapped by these... things! And they're going to cook me! If they're hungry, they'll need a character a bit more fleshed out than you, love. <laughs> Gosh, it seems you just can't be the world's class explorer these days without being cooked and eaten. Help me escape and I'll reward you with a PG. But be quick, my captors will be back any minute with their con condiments. Yes. Don't worry, miss. We'll get you out of there. Uh, step away from po pot strange dinosaur. <laughs> strange dinosaur. Ooh. That animation is fantastic. So, okay, that does not work. But luckily for me, these refill health and they're right here. Ah, it actually makes sense to why they're there. I also learned that you cannot use the rolling move. Ugh, lizard and bat go good with skeleton suit. Add much body. 
<laughs> Probably. Alright, let's keep using that momentum. Let's keep... It's it's kind of cool that we have an enemy trial uh, here. It was not what I was expecting, but it is definitely adding to my adventure. Come on. There we are. Looks like dinner's cancelled. Oh, thank you, kind lizard! You have my internal gratitude! Those brutes took a real beating, but I have a feeling they'll be back. Can you feel it in your bones? Please take your reward. You earned it. Our second pagey. And we're gonna save, which is nice. Pagey number two. Alright, so can we actually go in these houses? Looks like we can. Whoa. There is a world. Never mind, it just brought us right back out. Unless the center one's different, but I doubt it. We're trying, I guess. No, it just seems to uh, spit us back out, so. All in all, it was it was good that I came up here. I did get that uh, PG. I want to see if there's any more quills over here, because, oh, that seems like a place they would put them. Do not want to die by falling off the stage. I'd be a little uh, early in the level if I do say so myself. Um, it does seem like this would be a great place to hide some quills. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Okay. Well, it appears there are none. That's where we found our first ghost rider. There's some quills up there. All right. More of these... Ah, is that another Ghost Rider, maybe? Now that I know that, I think that's what it is. So maybe I need to collect it. I didn't really try. But in my defense, I didn't know I needed to. So, okay. Never mind. I still am not sure what you do. Except burp at me. <laughs> Let's see what this flower is. Sorry, I've got no bizzard that no bizzard. I've got no business with you, lizard. Okay, fair. Alright, there we are. Take them out. Now, let me know, what are your first thoughts on this level? I should have definitely used this. Ooh. Nice to get some quills. I think it's really cool. I'm loving seeing the background. Just that is just right there, gorgeous. I love the art style there, just you know, the rainbow. The mountains in the back there, I just think it's overall really cool. I also like how, and I noticed this lately when we jump, flaps her little wings. So cool. Alright, so continuing it seems, looks like I can get the clothes over here by getting around here. We have 35, which is not too bad, not too shabby if I do say so myself. I uh, don't know if I'm taking an opportune path, probably not, but I'm kind of going in on as I see them basis. And I am going to be collecting all 200 on each stage, or that's going to be the attempt anyway. Uh, it may be different, like if I need to buy an ability or something, that might halt that kind of progress. But we'll kind of learn about that as I go through. And we'll kind of see and feel it out. Because every, every platformer is different. And I genuinely do not know how this one will be. So, alright. Got one. Getting more. Pretty nice to have gotten them. Actually, I'm kinda seeing how that's pretty useful. Oh, this is probably. I had to probably be quick, I just got lucky. There's uh, no way around that, I just really got lucky there. But there's more quills over here. I do wanna get those. If I can. Ooh, barely. But I will take it. It seems. Like, it'd be in my best interest to go back over here. Yeah, I can't go back up there that way, but... Ooh, there's some more stuff down here anyway, so in the end... It was good that I came here regardless. Now, I do like quills, and it reminds me a lot of... In a lot of other collectathons, kind of their... Ooh, who are you? Kind of their currency, so I'm... Just, I like that it makes sense. It makes sense with the pages, it makes sense with the book theme. I really like it. Let's talk to you. 
Om nom nom. Good day to you, young warriors. I bet you've got a weight-related name. Go on, then. What is it? Om nom nom. They called one says Scops a lot, and I'm a proud knight of Hamelot. I knew it. Carry on, then. Tell us about your brave quest for treasure. Hamelot, really? The pig is from Hamelot. God, I love that. Om nom nom. Indeed, once fellow knights and I are engaged in a daring hunt for the great Rambo sacred treasure. Place Rampo is not Rambo. Oh gosh, Sylvester Stallone's here. Om nom nom. For security reasons, we split our search into four separate locations. Om nom nom, however, one is currently feeling a little too burdened to locate them. Might thou assist in locating my fellow knights in the treasure? Then we might as well. Don't worry, Scopsalot. We'll help find your knights. Om nom, excellent! My first knight isn't far. Allow me to bestow a clue. My feet are wet, but do not fret. I won't drown by the Coblet town. Got it. If we forget, we'll come back and ask you again. Alright, so we got tide quests, and I'm assuming that he's gonna reward a page. It kinda seems like that's the reward system. I'm not necessarily too positive, or I'm able to confirm it, but that's what it's seeming at least. Alright, some more quills over here. That's gotta be a ghost rider. I hear the... I hear it, uh, laughing. So, I'm not sure how to get it, actually. But it is kind of weird to hear the ooh hee hee! Gosh, I'm really in loving the level design, too. I I don't think the world or the world is too big for what we can do. And some modern 3D platformers have a problem with making the world so large. That it's a little difficult to traverse, but I'm not feeling that here. But while I'm over here, I want to see if I can get up here. Uh, kind of looks like I can. Maybe if I'm a little bit more precarious, maybe not. Okay. It would appear... No, I can... Well, one final good... Aha, the good old college try never lets you down. Now, up here we go. Do not want to take that but oh luckily I had some invincibility frames there what is this okay I can't activate that obviously I'm gonna have to talk to him I need I need to get a new butterfly though I'm running low on uh energy there so this seems to go one at a time okay I have still not mastered that, but gotta learn it for here. Actually, I think it's just mostly a matter of not getting hurt too much. Okay, this is the usage of it, though. Okay. And there are an enemy up here. Another one. Whoa, you have a special hat. I don't know if that hat does anything except maybe it takes another hit that's what it seemed to do unless I was supposed to use that as some sort of platform which if so that's kind of oh god no that's what to say that's a little unforgiving but it's one of those live and learn hmm couldn't imagine that they would do that but maybe maybe I gotta look over here aha uh -huh. Not even sure if that's right, but it looks like I can get a little bit of footing there. If that's the case, what I will try to do anyway is use that for... Aha! Uh -huh. Oh god, no! Don't fall off, don't fall off! No! Wow! Okay. Not sure how to get up there just yet. And it might be very obvious, but I'm not seeing it right now. Hmm. Let's see. Because I don't think I can just jump up. Yeah, it's slightly where you can't, which is good design. And I thought that didn't refill, but it sure did. Hmm. Again, I doubt this is what I'm supposed to do. But it, it does let me get on it quite easily, and it might just be... 
Yeah, it's just an area glitch. It has to be. Oh, what is this? I just think that I don't see anything. This kind of seems like a secret area. Oh. Okay, I gotta be careful here. I think I took enough time. Oh, please tell me. Okay, I don't take fall damage. I was like, please tell me I don't take fall damage, right? I do not. Okay. Ooh. What happened to the rest of the pagey? And what are you supposed to be? I'm a pagey piece. I got torn up by capital B's enforcers and thrown in this jungle. My other pieces have been scattered nearby. Please, find my other three pieces and I'll be whole again. You poor thing. Don't worry. We'll reunite you with yourself. I thought this was supposed to be a modern game, Yuka. Collectibles used to come in one piece. <laughs> wow. I like how they're just poking fun. And, ah, it's so refreshing to see a game that's this self-aware about things like that. I'm a second PG piece. Two more to go. Alright. Maybe that's just the leader. I'm trying to understand what that necessarily does. And maybe I'm overthinking. I I'm overthinking a simple platformer. But, alright. Don't think that'll have anything to say to me. Go ahead and roll up. That was weird. The rock there didn't necessarily do what I thought it was, but gonna do. It kind of clipped through Yuka there. Alright, up and at him we go. Ah, the higher we go, the more vivid the colors get, and the more beautiful it is. And just the more of the world we can see. Ah, I like how you can see the quills from distance. That's useful, especially if you're missing some quills and maybe they're higher up than you can get to. Now, I actually do not know, but I couldn't see why they wouldn't if all the quills are available the first time through. Though I couldn't see why they wouldn't be. It just seems like it would be a thing they would do. But I don't know. We'll find out in time. Alright, so here we are. This is where we're supposed to go. Got it. Up. Good. Keeping up with exploration. Ah, I'm just enjoying the atmosphere and just in a collectathon, for me especially, it gives me a chance to think about just game design and talk about things I'm excited about. Now this series is going to be different in the fact I've never actually blind played a collectathon game. Usually when I do a collectathon, I know everything that's coming. So for me, this is new. And I hope you're enjoying it too. But for me so far, this this is one of the most excited I've been to play a game series on my channel in a very long time. This is a game I've been watching closely for a while. A few people said they didn't know. They've never heard of this game. So to give a little bit of backstory, this was a kickstarted project by Rare Developers, as I mentioned in the last episode. But this is really a passion project. If you're not aware, not every developer gets to keep on a game franchise they created. Sometimes they have to sell, like for example, Insomniac games sold, uh, I believe they sold, um, they sold Spyro. I mean, they eventually created Ratchet and Clank, but they still had to sell Spyro because they honestly didn't know what else they were going to do with them. And then you think about Naughty Dog selling Crash, and I believe Activision currently owns the license. And when Rare sold to Microsoft, because they used to be an in work with Nintendo, but they sold to Microsoft. They made nuts and bolts, and a lot of people had an issue with that game. Like I said, I've never really played a Banjo game. So for me, I don't have an issue with it, but I didn't grow up with it. And understanding that just because you didn't grow up with it doesn't mean you don't understand why people are upset about it. Because I could understand. I had that experience with the Spyro games, with the Crash game. They're not bad by any means, not necessarily. They're just not this, not what you were expecting. All right, now let's go under and see what more I can find. So our first kind of water hazards switch here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to use switch though. Up we go. <gasps> 
I'm curious if Krauser is not in the level, because it seems like that might be needs to be something I do. I don't know what happened to my English there. That was just abysmal. But I think Trouser is going to be our best bet to communicate with, so why don't we go ahead and talk to find a way to get out to talk to him if possible. What is this? There's just so many instances where I don't know what they are. The gun of sorts? Huh. Oh! Hello! Oh goodness! Hello! I wasn't expecting visitors! You must be the cruddy duo Capital B is making all the fuss about. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Puzz, Every Tower's top scientist. Well, I used to be, before that dastardly Dr. Quack stole all of my research. Psst! Yuka! What's wrong with her arms? <laughs> Shh! Uh, hi, Dr. Puzz. I'm Yuka, and this is Laylee. It looks like you're experiencing some... Tentacle... Er... Technical difficulties. Oh no! Everything's okay. Better than ever. Better than okay, even. I've just been tweaking my favorite invention which was this magnificent power to transform. Only a damaged prototype was left behind after that horrible business Dr. Quack, with Dr. Quack, but is now transforming as normal. Well, other than one small incident, I have an inkling that it might have been. If you find this world's molecule, molecule, I can power up the DN Ray and help you on your adventure. <laughs> so many puns. Okay, Doc, we'll see her. Uh, see what we can do. I better not end up with barnacles, Yuka. <laughs> I love how it's the DN Ray. Gosh. This game makes puns. I am at home with this. This is this is what I've been waiting for. This is the content I've been wanting. Sorry, I've got nothing to do with you, Lizard. Ah, again, wanted to see. Don't believe I have any business with them yet. Maybe later. I have a lot of these. Just kind of exploring, though. Alright. I do like exploring and getting the quills, and I love the little notes they make. The musical notes they make, and this game has already just musical puns. I mean, you could argue that, you know, you can write sheet music, so even the quills, though obviously they're for books, you can make the argument that they also... That does refill. Huh. Okay, I was wrong on that. It's just health that does it. Who are you? Oh, you look like a racy pair. Hello. This is Laylee, and I'm Yuka. Who might you be? I'm Nimble. And I like the look of you two, I must say. How about we see who's the most racy? You know, in a race around my course. We're game for anything that involves a pagey. What do you think, Yuka? Yeah, let's go for it. Sure thing, Nimble. Let's race. Cloud-based racing. How next gen? Wow. Just taking the fourth wall and obliterating it. Here we go! Strap yourselves in one lap. Burst through all the gates wins. I'll focus on those later. Oh, he's fast. He's quite nimble. Assuming this is a faster way to get around. Ooh. Alright. Yeah. Alright, you gotta really space these out. Really? Was not expecting that. I did get a butterfly. I thought that would refill. Apparently not. Does it just kind of naturally? Yeah, I was about to say. Well, at least I learned the course now. Gosh, he's very fast. But, oh, you can collect them... Oh, well, that makes sense. Laylee isn't necessarily doing much then, so I guess maybe she's eating them? Yeah, Nimble already... He's... I would say he smoked us, but he's a cloud. What a shame! All the sweating for the runner-up spot. 
I'll be waiting for the rerun time. Another go? Yes. Yuka's had a rest, and I promise he'll do better. You're right, we'll do better, Laylee. I hope. <laughs> this time around, no messing around. Nimble is quite... Nimble! Interesting, so do those quills not count as things we collected? I mean, I guess it makes sense. This wasn't something I was expecting. So now that I know we can collect the butterflies with Laylee, I feel more confident in just going ahead and using this the way we are. Come on, be careful. Good. Want to take that little break. Don't want to use all we have, because then if I fall behind, I may not be able to get out. Good. Okay. Ooh, no, 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 no. So he can go around. But it didn't matter, because we were able to do that. I think we're going to win this time around. Unless he pulls an unexpected move, but I don't see that happening. Yeah, I think we're doing way better this time around. Alright. Next turn! Yeah! Even in this, control's like a dream. Yeah! We did it! <laughs> that was a lot of fun! Impressive! Can't believe you finished ahead of me. Yeah, yeah. Hand over the pagey candy floss features. Oh yes, of course. The victor goes to the goes to spoils. You pair earned it. That was an interesting way to get a pagey. It kind of looked uh how do you say like it pooped it on me. <laughs> so I want to see my idea on maybe you have to leave to go back to trouser. Because if that's the case, that's interesting. It looks like we do. You're back and alive! It seems that snake chap lost his bet. Yeah. We... Hold on, what bet? Those grand tomes can be dangerous places, but it's good you're back. I have something important to share. The grand tomes like this one here can be expanded using the power of the pages you have found. Choosing to expand will make the book worlds bigger and full of extra challenges to discover. That sounds cool. How does it work? Once you've found enough of us pages, it's up to you if you want to use them to expand a grand tome. You've already opened or searched our ivory towers for a brand new one to unlock with us. Hmm. Expand or explore? Yes. The choice is yours. And you can do this in any order. So long as you collected enough pages on your adventure. How exactly do we use our pages to expand a grand tome, pagey? Easy. Just step on the switch in front of the grand tome and press A. I'll tell you how many pages are required to expand the tome. Got it. I guess we'll carry on our adventure now and decide whether to expand or explore. That was actually useful information, though it seems we have an enemy here. Oh, we'll take that blessed butterfly. So I want to see what a trouser has in store for us. Trouser is not here. Interesting. But this is new. I don't know who you are. Hey kids, what can I get ya? Um, one please. One tonic? You've got to present your company approved ID card. First kid, Ivory Towers employees only. Ah uh, yes, about that. My bat here, friend. Ate mine. Tell you what, I'll let you off just this once. We're all friendly colleagues after all. Yes, friendly colleagues. The name's Vendi. I assume you're familiar with my game Modifying Tonics? Remember each tonic you equip makes a big change to your rules of work. You need to complete a challenge to unlock each one and no messing around. Only one tonic equipped at a time. Come see me when you want to swap them out. We don't have any tonics, but collect five pages, stun 30 enemies. So there are ways to unlock all of these, and that's really cool. And I guess we'll just kind of discover them as we go around. I like the Vendi tonics. It's really a cool aspect. So going back up, I want to expand that tome. Because I think that would be in our interest. Alright, so we just step on it and press A. You haven't found enough pages to expand this world. Come back when you found at least three of us. And that's fair. We'll hop right back in the world.
And you know what? We've done a lot here in Tribal Stack Tropics. We got our first Ghost Rider, we got some Pages, we got some Quills. We learned a lot of new mechanics, we got to explore this beautiful world. And let me know, what are your thoughts on Tribal Stack Tropics? I think it's a really cool, vib vibrant and vivid first area and I'm excited to explore more of it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, thank you all so much for your time, and as always, I hope you have a great day.